The stage is all set for the All India Football Federation elections. The apex footballing body of the country was remembered recently suspended by FIFA, the world body, for third party intervention because of the committee of administrators appointed by the court handling day to day affairs. Now, once that body was dissolved, the ban was lifted and the way was paved for these elections taking place tomorrow. All eyes are on the post of the AIFF president because the battle is between two former Indian footballers. Baichung Bhutia and Kalyan Chaube, a former striker versus a former goalkeeper. And for the very first time since its, since its 85 year history, a footballer will eventually become the head of the football body in India. Now, Chaube is also a BJP leader from West Bengal and is being considered the front runner. So, does Bhutia have a chance or no? Let's take that question to him because he's joining us live. Baichung Bhutia, thanks a lot for joining us and speaking to us on the eve of the AIFF elections. You are arguably the most popular Indian footballer ever. You've thrown your hat in the ring after the recent upheaval. What do you make of your chances? I think it's been uh, wonderful speaking to all the state associations and I'm very, very hopeful because there have been very positive response from almost all the states. Uh, in fact, uh, they would want me to come and help them technically uh, and support financially as well uh, for the state grassroots leagues and state leagues to happen, uh, so to get the structure right. So I think it's been very, very positive uh, as far as state associations reaction. So let's see tomorrow. But uh, hopefully, I think, uh, you know, uh, Indian football, I think, has got great opportunity to have good reforms bring in great, good management people so that uh, whatever neg neg negativity uh, news we had for the last few months mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, should be just left behind and focus on short term which is under 17 World Cup for girls and have a long term plan for Indian football to really grow. Uh, before I continue about your chances, you spoke about the recent negativity. So how do you look back at that FIFA ban? Was it an ignominy that shouldn't have happened? India should have avoided it in the first place or do you believe that was a wake-up call for India? No, I think uh, it was very unfortunate the ban to come in for Indian football from FIFA. But at the same time, I think sometimes you need that shake-up for any any sport. And that for football, I think it was a good shake-up for uh, football to really have great reforms. And, mm. uh, you know, if you look at, uh, look at uh, uh, the football federation or the state associations, uh, very, very few ex-footballers who's gone on to play for country runs uh, or becomes a president of state association or federation. Mm. I think it's very important that the player's voice has to be there uh, for any kind of reform or development. So I think it's important that the players, ex-players, eminent players should be given that opportunity, not just after playing to become coaches, but also give them an opportunity to come into administration and, uh, you know, you could have great uh, uh, players who can be a great administrator. So, and we've already seen in, in cricket, Saurabh doing a great, uh, Saurabh Ganguly doing a great job. So I think it's important that, uh, you know, players' voice has to be heard and players should be included uh, in, in the say and the voting of, of the federation. Right, but you know, the COA wanted that former players get that voting rights that you're talking about. That was rejected by FIFA. So do you think the better way to get into administration is by fighting elections like you are doing now? No, I think uh, the most important thing is I think players have to be given into general body, which is going to have the voting rights, mm. and that 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 can be done in different different formats and different different style. Mm. So I think it's important that you know the players need to be in that voting right now. Kalyan Chauvin, I'm fighting it, but we're not coming through uh, as 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 nomination by players or right. you know our colleagues are having that voting right. So we have to fight with the state associations, uh, uh, association who are nominating us. So I think uh, that is where uh, I feel that, you know, uh, the eminent players also should have a voice. Uh, and then, you know, you can see a lot of <laughs> ex-footballers fighting in different posts or nominated by eminent players. So that is what I think I would want to see. So you mentioned Kalyan Chaube, your former teammate, who's been considered the favourite. He's also a BJP leader. You've had some experience in politics in the state of Sikkim, but not too much. What do you make of your competition? No, I think 
I think just because uh, you know people tag him with certain political party, and obviously it's no secret that he's fought with BJP and is is fighting elections with uh, BJP in Bengal. But just that tag does not make anybody favorite. So I think I've spoken to, as I said earlier, I've spoken to all the state associations. The response has been very very positive. Uh, yes, I feel that uh, sometimes in sports in India, all different federations. Uh, I won't say all the politicians, but sometimes when you have a tag of political party, then it tends to, uh, you know, destroy the sport because some political party is power in center, then some are not in the state, then that ego and 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 things come in, and that really hurts the sport uh, in general. So I'm just hoping that uh, this election should not be political. Uh, and uh, it should just be pure football and I want to make sure that football wins and that is the most important thing. Okay, finally, uh, Bai Chungbutia, what do you bring to the table? Because it is all often said that just like all players don't make great coaches, similarly, not all players can be effective administrators. That administration is a completely different ball game. So that is the reason why you need to give them an opportunity. You can't just discard saying that they can't become great administrator when you don't even give them a chance. In the last 75 years of, uh, or more than that, Indian football, very few footballers, ex eminent footballers, have gone on to become president of state association, forget the federation. Yes. So I think the opportunity should be given and then you can test it out. Yes, what I want to bring is obviously I need to have short term and long term plans. And I always said that, uh, you know, players come from states. The states are the factory that produces players. Mm. Today, I think state associations are struggling financially, technically and infrastructure wise. And that's where federation can come in, support them financially to do grassroots tournaments, do their league. Mm. Uh, and also make sure that they produce ex-footballers playing for the state to go on to become qualified coaches that can really help kids in that state to become good footballers. Right. And these are things I think we need to really focus. So more kids playing, more kids coming out, competing uh, and coming out and playing, I think more quality players you'd get. So at the end, when you play for India, is the players that comes from the state. And we don't have kids playing in the state, competing or getting that platform then I think we are losing out a lot of talent. So that is where my focus is to make sure we do a lot of grassroots tournaments in the state, support them technically, financially, uh, and more players playing, more talent would come out, and uh, that's how they go on to play for India with good quality players. I leave it on that note. All the best to you, and let's see what happens as far as the AIFF elections are concerned. Thanks a lot for speaking to us.